Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be running through how you can use sounds or music in your application using the media player. Uh, but if you missed the, uh, the video in which I talk about how, how to decide which method of, um, of audio playback is best suited um, <coughs> for your app, then feel free to take a look at the, uh, at the video by clicking on the link in the, uh, in the description below. So let's create a, a new application and I'm going to call it Media Player Demonstration. Okay, I'm just going to go with the default so API 70, blank activity, and just leave these blank. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly switch over to my emulator. What I need to do is I need to create, first thing I need to do is create a, a raw folder in which to put my um, sound files into. So if we right click on resource folder, new Android resource directory, and under resource type, we just select raw, it should rename the directory to raw, and we'll OK that. And so let's put a, and here's our raw, file, the raw folder it's created. So we want to stick a, a sound file in there, so if we pick a sound file, um, uh, let's go with this one. I don't know what any of them are really, but let's copy that and paste that in. Uh, right, we need to make sure it's all lowercase, so I'm just going to call it sleep. Okay, that. And so there's our sound file ready to be used. So we go to our main activity class, and just under our our main activity title. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a media player object. So we go media player, and I'm going to call it my sound. And also I've placed it outside the all the methods, so it's um, it can be used globally. Okay, so uh, inside our on create method, just under our set content view, I'm going to reference my sound, and it's going to be equal to media player and we want this dot create method and inside this method we've got these all these different contact all these different um overloaded methods so we want we want to use this one here it's context and uh, resource ID so the context is going to be this and resource ID is going to be the name of this file which is resources raw sleep so r dot raw dot sleep so there's our, there's our file um, created inside media player so just end that with a semicolon and that's that's ready to go so what we want to do is we want to go to our activity main XML we want to create a button so I'm just going to quickly tidy this up and I'm going to delete this hello world title and I'm going to pop in a, bot a button there we go. And I'm just going to name this, uh, um, just quickly name it sleep. And send me to sleep. And we're going to create an on click method. Calling uh, play, just call it play sound, or play music. Play music. Okay, so we're going to create that in the main activity um, class. And there's our method there so I'm just going to, I'm just going to grab this I'm just going to move it up up here okay so when we press our button this is going to run it's going to run this method here so all we need to do is to start the sound let's reference the object my sound dot and we've got all these methods here and we want start and that's it so we'll check that out Move this down, move this over. Okay, and okay, so let's try this out. There we go, and that's the sound, that's the music playing. So we know that works. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, we notice when we 
clicked back, music still playing. So what we can do is is um, we can set up a if we right click, a re we want to set up a, a release a release method because so we need to release the sound. So if I so right click and we want to generate uh, override methods and it's in our fragment activity on pause. Okay, so there's our on pause uh, method. So we want to reference our sound and we just want to dot release. So if we run that up again, it's okay then. And start the music. So as soon as we, as soon as we uh, click back, it immediately shuts the music down and releases the sound. So you don't have to worry about resources because one thing you need to be concerned about with media player is if if you don't release the sounds, if you don't handle the the, the media player correctly, you can hog a lot, a lot of resources. Um, so, but that's that's as simple. It's as simple as that. That's how you play a a sound file or a, a music file. Okay, guys. Okay, thanks for watching. And thanks for subscribing.